All right, so what we're doing this morning is uh, patients with uh, something called the deep, 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 deep vein thrombosis. Basically, it's clotted up all of the veins in his legs, and it's clotted up a vein all, all, the, all the way up into the belly called the inferior vena cava. So what we've done is basically gotten access to the bilateral feet and basically got that access all the way up here. And because the, of the occlusion length is so long, we also got access in the neck and came down. So basically, we're connecting from the neck all the way to the foot now. And we started this yesterday and uh, infused a medication called a lysis agent yesterday called Synectoplase. And the goal of that is to break off as, as much clots as possible. And we're gonna start the real work this morning very early in going in to basically remove as much clots as possible to restore flow. All right, so this is the complexity of the case. As you see, yesterday we got access here, here, and at the neck. Now we have uh, five different accesses. We have access here, we have access here. We have access in the short saphenous vein and the back of the uh, calf on the left side now we have access in the in the right groin and basically it's just secondary to the extensive nature of the clot we're able to push clot from here all the way here but we don't have the equipment that's long enough to basically go all the way to the heart so now we're gonna start continuing to push the clot all the way the all the way up and open up the IBC. so we're done with the case and as you could see when we started yesterday basically this is the iliac vein here there's really no flow there this is the inferior vena cava which is the blood that's supposed to the blood vessel that's supposed to return blood to the heart and really there's no flow there so he has a lot of clot burning we've done a lot of work over the last two days and uh, what you're going to see uh, after all the work we've done is now we've now restored flow to the inferior vena cava there's now two and two flow in the inferior vena cava uh, the left iliac vein shows very good flow there again no flow there before the right iliac vein the same thing so and we've also restored flow to both of the legs and this patient should do very well after after the procedure, seeing that uh, he got significant leg swelling and significant disability from leg swelling and pain before uh, showing a very good outcome.